They make a ton of noise, and if you can hear, you can hear it echoing off the trees behind us. Alright guys, welcome back to uh, Alaskan Savage. And I got a question the other day from one of my clients, do I rattle up here? And the answer is yes. Um, it's hard to get the sound out and get bucks to come to you, but it is definitely effective um, mid to late September, all the way through um, early November. A little later in the year, the bucks have already kind of got their pecking order going and um, the rattling doesn't work as well. It'll scare away a lot of the smaller bucks and that time of year we're doing a lot of meat hunting too along with um, trying to harvest a good one but uh, I got two different styles of I wanted to show someone this because uh, a buddy showed me this and I was really impressed with them and so I got myself a set but these are black bear uh, clavicles and I wanted to let you hear the difference in the sound um, and the reason why I like the deer clavicles over the set of antlers. Um, when you're doing a rattle series, um, if you rack your, I don't know if you guys rattle a lot, but if, it seems like if you rattle this way, you end up getting your fingers. Now, and I do it a lot and I don't like it, especially when it's cold. So um, I like to turn mine backwards and rattle them in, but you still tag your fingers. They still end up hitting your fingers but these and plus they're awkward they're sharp they poke holes in your packs um, they're not as loud uh, they they just don't do as well um, I, I just there's so that they work but there's so many reasons why I go to the bear clavicle so kill a spring bear and uh, we butchered it save these off the side dried them next to the wood stove and you can put them in your back pockets. Um, you can put them in backpacks, but they make a ton of noise. And if you can hear, you can hear it echoing off the trees behind us. And uh, they're super easy to hold on to. You don't need a lot, but a Bill, Billy Yaki, a good friend of mine, um, he turned me on to these and I had to get a pair. So if you're out, black bear hunting I really highly recommend if you like to rattle um, that you save these you know boil them down put them next to the wood stove they'll dry out but they make a ton of noise and uh, they're finger friendly and they sound really good um, but uh, if you like what you're seeing guys please push the like button subscribe Share it with a friend, um, but I think no matter where you're hunting, if you've got black bear and you get one, I would definitely save them. So uh, know where your meat comes from and whack them and stack them.